do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power. Today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is. Well, actually, it's a proof of concept video that shows you how you can play games from an SD card. So what I have is I have this micro SD adapter. I have a link in the more info section of where you can purchase it. And here is this 8 gigabyte SD card class 6 that I use. So how this works is pretty simple. What you do is you got to have an SD card adapter like this for the Dreamcast. And then you basically plug it into the back of the Dreamcast in the serial port. So let me just show you real quick. So like here's the, the back port. So you just connect it right here in the serial port like so. Um, only goes in one way. Fail. Okay, so like that. And then also what I'm using is a Dream Shell disc. So this is Dream Shell 4.0 uh, RC1. Go to the more info section if you're interested. You can see um, that I burned into regular CDR. And for those that are curious, this is my Dreamcast. This is manufactured in July of 1999, but you can have units up to October or November of 2000 that can play backed up games natively by itself. Pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is connect the power cord, and then I'm also going to connect the video cord as well. And then let's go ahead and turn on the Dreamcast, like so. And then let's go back to the TV. So this is just a proof of concept video in a uh, second um, tutorial or another tutorial. I'll show you exactly how to do this from, uh, from start to finish in terms of where to get the disc, how to burn it properly, um, how to rip the games correctly for your SD card, where you can find some additional homebrew games for a Dreamcast, and then how to just put it all together. It's going to be a lot of fun times. But I'll save that for another video because that's a pretty long video. This is just an uh, initial video to get your taste buds wet. Okay, so it's working great. Just wait for like 30 seconds or so for this to, to happen. All right, so here we are at the main menu. So what you do is you could use the arrow keys or you could use this thumb pad here. So let's go down to File Manager at the very bottom. And I got a couple games loaded here, so I'm going to load a game that's interesting. And I'm going to load this Mega Man 2 ISO that I got from um, the DC Zone, I think, online. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So use the arrow keys or the thumb uh, joystick and go to SD. Press the A button a few times. Let's find my Mega Man ISO. Press A two times. Click on the check mark. Um, and then it should work. Now, granted, some games run sort of slow, like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's a little bit slow in terms of the, um, in terms of the movies, but when you're playing the actual game, it's flawless. Okay, so here's the Mega Man collection. Let's go ahead and pick a game to start. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, press start. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead. Let's pick uh, Cut Man. I'll show you that, yeah, this does work. So like I said, I haven't tested all the Dreamcast games, but a lot of Dreamcast games do work fine. And like I said, you can go online. There's like a DC ISO zone, for example, something like that, where you can download additional games, additional homebrew, um, stuff of that nature. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe, so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.